every time you talk about LSU, it kind of it leaves you in the weird place almost to a certain degree. And look, I'm, I'm saying this is a microcosm. I think the bigger issue that a lot of teams are obviously, you know, talking about as far as the FBI investigations are going. But ultimately, is this big egg on the face of the NCAA as, as long as LSU continues to advance? How do you not talk about what's going on? How do you not talk about the fact that Will Wade decided not to give any testimony to the NCAA or have conversations because he himself chose not to? With, with his boss. With, with, with his, his boss. With his administration. With his, with his own yeah. administration. But I, I, I think it's something that people are obviously, as they continue to move forward, they're going to talk about more and more. It's unfortunate for the kids because I, as long as LSU wins, nobody seems to care. Yeah, maybe maybe they should be. Maybe people should be talking about it, but nobody is. And and I hear what you're saying about egg on the face, but there's so much egg on the NCAA's face, you can't even see this egg. <laughs> um, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, we've had this stuff going on for so long, and the NCAA basically has stayed stayed silent about it. I mean, look what what happened with this Operation Varsity Blues, the statement that the NCAA had, and how how tepid it was that. You know, when the FBI thing came out on on players maybe taking money and and shoe executives and all this stuff, then it was it was Mark Emmert says it's disgusting, and and all of a sudden we've got a, a commission that chaired by Condoleezza Rice, and we're doing something about it and all that, and now the Varsity Blues thing comes out that shows that people are being bribed to gain admission into the school and it's getting into admissions departments and and senior executives are getting getting uh, school executives are getting in this and the NCAA says uh, we're concerned about it as should all, all of higher education and we're monitoring the situation like what <laughs> that's all you got because they know this goes to the very heart of what higher education is so we've had these problems forever and and it's not going to get in the way of the money machine that the NCAA tournament is. And I'm not sure it should. I'm not sure I'd do it any differently. But, but I'm tired of, like, no more lectures about integrity from college people. Like, start showing some because you're, you're talking about it and doing any good and we're tired of hearing it. Let's hear, let, here's the deal. If you're winning, everything is good. I mean, Will Wade obviously got suspended, didn't want to speak to his own administration. Here's the deal. Joe Oliva comes into the arena, he gets booed, LSU wins. In the end, the fans, the players, you know what? They move on. They're going to go play ball. This is a really talented team that's good enough to beat Michigan State. Michigan State's yes. got to take care of the basketball, and they've got to rebound the basketball. But in the end, the fans and the players, players have short-term memories. They get on to the next play. With Will Wade, without Will Wade, give me the ball. You know what? Trey Waters is going to make a play. Nas Reed's going to rebound the basketball. These dudes just want to play no matter who's coaching them. And the fans, you know, let's be honest. I they don't even care well, if the you're fans changing. used to care more than they do now. Now they, they don't, don't care. They they don't care. care. They don't this is exactly what Mark win. Few. This is exactly what Mark Few was talking about. Like, say, say for example, and I don't know what's going to happen, but say for example, they come in after the fact and they got to vacate everything LSU That's did. It. Then, then what? Who's who's talking to Maryland now? Like, what about Maryland? Yeah, That's they're going to say, wait a minute, we got sent home. Like, you know, so that's what Mark Few was pointing out is yeah. that, come on, man, we know what's going on here, and why isn't anybody doing anything about it? And right now, we're just collecting checks and putting commercials out about student athlete student experience. Athletes, yeah. And boy, look at this great opportunity we're giving to everybody. So and thank you so for the billion fake. dollars. Any so questions funny. for the student athletes?